What's next? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that wheel, dude. Like, I'm still gonna save, like, Frostbite for last, but it legit hasn't come up in the spins yet, and I would love to see if it actually happens that way. <laughs> Tennis? I'm... I don't think I'm worried about tennis. Private Eye is kind of a mystery to me. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what we got. What's gonna happen here? Tennis or Private Eye? It's really a choice. Oh, here we go. Spinning round and round and round. <laughs> oh, it's not Frostbite! Oh, I love it. I love it. Private Eye. Bum, 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 ba, da, ba, down. This is, um... This is probably gonna be, like, the biggest challenge that I have left, I would say. Because I don't know this game hardly at all. But I do know, like, as far as, like, my cartridge collecting, Private Eye was the last one for me before, like, the Activision collection was complete. Is this the cart? Here it is. Yeah, bam. So be interested to see some hot deets about this. Look at that wheel for next spin. Okay, so let's take a look at the patch. Solve case three. We'll become a super sleuth, dude. Super sleuth. Ding, 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 ding. So solve case three. So we'll see. I think you actually need the manual for this, like legit. <laughs> I. Cause I don't know how you would figure it out otherwise. From what little tiny bit I have played of this. Private eye. This one's considered rare according to Atari Age. Uh, let's take a look at the box. Yeah, look at this guy. That's a hot emote face right there. It's got his magnifying glass. He's got a stack of cash there. Mm-hmm. And a comb. Don't forget about this comb. By Bob Whitehead. A maze of mystery. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the great French inspector... Pierre Touche. And, and vous? Well, enough with the formalities. Frankly, I need your help. I'm in the throes of live... Did I say live or five? Five phenomenal cases. Okay, five there. Five mysteries with a central theme. Henry Lafiend. Oh, shit. Not Henry Lafiend. He's the worst. <laughs> it's literally the worst. International scoundrel, first class. Uh, last seen in New York, soon to be apprehended and booked at police headquarters. With your help and a map that is now in our possession, Nice. Step into my new 1937 Model A. Ooh, fancy, dude. Uh, I will drive high and low through every alley, up every street, from 2nd Avenue to Central Park. I will find the evidence. I will find stolen goods. I will find La Fiend! To the carts. Mm hmm. That's, uh. I'd say mine's maybe slightly better condition than that one. Definitely on the. No, no. I got kind of that line thing on my end label, too. Alright. In the manual, this might be. Oh. Wait, this is the whole manual? Is that for real? Interesting. Sacre bleu! I am the great French private eye, Pierre Touche, and I need your help. I have been summoned to capture the ringleader, Henry Lafine, and turn him over to the police. But wait! We first must find evidence against him and the stolen property, of course. 
Uh, there are five cases pending, each with its own statute of limitations. The cases close when Le Fiend is apprehended in book, so hurry! Study the files below, grab your trench coat, and meet me in Precinct 2600. I get it. I'll be waiting for a boo. Okay, so case one, case two. Um. Do I just want to go for it? I think I just want to go for it in case three, right? Let's just, yeah, let's just jump right into case three. Uh, Mrs. Lada Morcash uh, was bedside herself. Uh, but he was such a good gentleman. A man claiming to be her new hairstylist uh, had given Mrs. Morcash a new hairdo. Uh, by the time... I gotta, like, tilt my head to read this. By the time <laughs> that was suddenly absent from her neck, you must find him. Uh... Oh, I skipped a line. By the time he uh, combed out the last curl, she was oblivious to the four carat diamond necklace that was suddenly absent from her neck. I say that sentence made no sense without that one. Um, <laughs> you must find him, she said. It's the best style I've ever had. A French twist! Touche's daiquiri glass shattered in his fist. Mm. Prosecution requirements. Find the comb and verify it at the barbershop. Find the necklace and return it to the gym store. Find Le Fiend and book him at police headquarters. Four minutes! We're in Midtown, 64 block, okay. Super Sleuth is our time-honored enclave uh, of seasoned private eyes who, by serving justice in case three, dealing in diamonds, have amply demonstrated their talents in detection. If you have met this criteria, send us Exhibition A, a photo of the TV screen, or ex exhibit, why did I say Exhibition? Um, showing the completion of Case 3 along with Exhibit B, your name and address, and Exhibit C, the words private eye written on the envelope's front corner. Uh, your name... Uh, will be added to the Super Sleuth Registry, and you will receive its official emblem. Actually, this might be good. Let me zoom this out. I feel like I need to be able to see all this. So, this actually might be really important for, like, navigating through all this crap. So, let's really go down here, and... Uh... Oh, wait, that's game one. Hold up. Game two. Okay, so game three. Looks like there's a bridging path I can do there. Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me yet. <laughs> this is scro the scrolls, right? Maybe not. Uh, I don't get it. I guess these bridges actually exist as like a path you can take up or down. I don't know. It didn't say one way or the other about the difficulty switches, so I'm just gonna leave them at B, I guess. I don't know any better. So, okay. Let's try this out. Might be interesting to watch a YouTube video to see if, like, something more efficient that I'm not doing yet, but. I don't know. I'm not ruling out what I've done yet as, like, best path. Like, I know what to do. I just can't do it fast enough and without, like, hitting stuff and slowing me down. <sighs> okay. Comb first. Yeah, I hear you, stomach. I hear you. Like, this shit. You can't be doing that. Nothing. That's the path to the gyms. To the right. Uh, comb. Okay, next one. Boop. To the barber shop. Crap.
lift. No to that. No to that. Yes to this. To the right. Then here saves a little bit of time. Should be back at the police station in next screen. Four right. Then take the path. Yes, yeah, definitely faster to take that path to the barber shop this way than just keep going to the right. Alright, now I gotta get the necklace. So I want the second path in the cluster of three. Bricks. Police station, hello. Alright, screw that one. No to this. Yes to this. Now head to the right. Necklace gay. Ooh, shit, right. That's the one that gives me trouble. Tree, tree, then path. To B. To the right, jump over the barricade. There we go, did that correctly. Skip that one, I want the next screen. Up. Up. Left. Screen four. Screen five. Screen six. Gems turned in. Get moving. Up here to the right. Up here, left is pick up him. Got your ass. Now I'll go here. Uh, don't want that. Barricade. Okay, now to the right. Take this. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, flower pot. No, no, no. Next screen. <sighs> Finally got it. Oh, my God. That was an ordeal. <laughs> but Lafine's been arrested. Got all the evidence against him. Boom. Bam. Bam. Thank you for the GG hoodie. My God, dude, two whole seconds to spare.